Hey, we are here about an hour 30, fellas. About an hour 30 at the most. Hour 30 at the most. Let's get it done. Let's be sharp. Let's be tough. Let's be fast. Let's be disciplined. But let's hold each other accountable. We got that? Yes, sir. Guys, hold each other accountable the whole day. Break it down on 36. Yes, sir. Let's go, Savion. Let's dominate this week. Dominate on me. One, two, three. Dominate. What's up, family? I was just up here thinking, man, watching uh, Colorado Buffaloes do their thing. You know, Shador, Travis, and the gang. You dig? Man, uh, I sure wish there was a coach like prime time when I was playing college ball, man. That's a blessing, man. I mean, he can relate to these kids. The coaching staff can relate to these kids, man. That is a win-win. You know, you can be yourself. You can come talk to them. Some of the coaches are probably like uncles to these kids. You know what I'm saying? Away from home, you know, you get to discuss problems you might have going back, going, going on back at home, you dig? Man, this is nothing but a blessing for these kids, man. And uh, to finally have a coaching staff that you can say actually believe in you and understand you that can relate to you. Man, that's that's that is that you can't buy that. You know, man, I'll never forget when I was in college. I had a coach come up to me and ask me, uh, man, why you and uh another guy that was on the team, why you guys always wear those white t shirts? Now, if a coach can't understand something as simple as a damn t shirt, you you understand what I'm saying? How can I come to that coach and talk to him about, damn, coach, I'm not feeling well, man. My boy back home just got caught in a, in a, in a shooting, in a drive-by. My best friend, you dig? So how can I come to the coach and talk to him about something like that when he want to ask me about a, a damn T-shirt? You dig? You know, man, it's crazy to say, but, man, when I was in college playing ball, I always knew that the coaches really didn't like me, man, but they had to play me if they wanted to keep their jobs, you know what I'm saying? They had to play me because I was putting it down on the field, you dig? But to know that and to understand that they played you out of necessity for their livelihood is a big difference than playing for somebody that really, really, truly care and loves you, man. You would do anything for that coach, you dig what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, I'm just I'm just happy to see that uh, that Coach Prime is, is setting an example, and maybe we can get more of our own coaches in the Power Five, black coaches in the Power Five, where these kids can have that feeling, man. And not only will they be successful on the field, but man, that translate off the field, in the school, in the books. Man, if I had a coach like Coach Prime man, when I was playing, I probably would have, forget a bachelor's, man. I would have got my master's, my doctorate. I would have kept going, you dig? Because I had that support at the school, away from home. Yeah. Right through it, right through it. Let it finish. Let the hand. That's that Tulsa? Yeah. yeah, you know that is right there by the hill. If you know where the hill is, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I'm third going into Grill Creek, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Country Club. Country Club, that's Ocean Asian, you know, Ocean Asian. Ocean Asian. Yeah. Oh, that's just the towns, though. So if you no, know, you know, if you don't. Yeah. Radius tattoo down below in the comments. If y'all want to give them some free tattoo, bro. Half hole? 50-50? Right there! Oh, that was gonna be a pick. PD! That was gonna be a pick. Yes, sir! Yeah, 
Right there. 